So in the previous video, I showed you how to add test formulas to your spreadsheet and also how to add overall tests that combine the input of those tests together. However, there's a downside to this. If you look at the spreadsheet, let me show it to you, you see an error here. What do you have to do? You have to go up. Oh, there's an error in the margin. You have to scroll to the tests. You have to scroll down. Oh, what row is the error on? Oh, it's there. And then you have to trace all the steps to see what actually goes wrong. So in case of an error, there's a lot of work you have to do to pinpoint exact location of the error. So what can you do? Let me show you an easy trick to more quickly pinpoint where errors are. What you can do is add another column to your overall test set. Let me zoom out a bit so we have some more room. We add an additional column where we're going to detect the location of the failing test. And we can use the good old match function for that. I hope you remember it from all the way back in like the second week of videos. We can use that to detect what the line of the error is. So we add a match and we're looking for the value error. So in the first one, there is no error. So we simply get an NA, a non-available error. No problem, we're only interested in this result for the situations where there actually is an error. So if we add an, a match there, you see that the result of the match function is the row on which we have the error, row 9, that's actually where the mistake is. So if you add a match function like this, you don't have to search manually for the erroneous lines, you get the result with the match function and you can see, hey, line 9 is the line with the error. And this is especially useful if you have like hundreds of lines, then you want to know what line the error is, you don't want to scroll there, and you, maybe you don't also don't want to use a filter for the erroneous lines, you just want to click quickly locate. So let's design our spreadsheet a bit better. We add a border around all the test formulas so that it's really clear for whoever is going to use this spreadsheet after us that this is a special part of the spreadsheet. And what I like to do is then add a link to the final test formula on top of my worksheet. So I say this is our old checks okay, my overall check, and I just link to the error formula downstairs. So that I can see immediately if I open the worksheet, is everything okay, yes or no. And maybe I don't always have my test block on the downside of my spreadsheet. If I have a very long worksheet, maybe I place my check box somewhere to the left of all my formulas or somewhere to the right, wherever there's logical place in my worksheet. So it's a very good idea to link to the first line of your worksheet if something is wrong, then you can see it immediately if you open it. And I can repeat this trick for all of the other worksheets as well. Let me zoom back in and then go to the other worksheets. In the other worksheets, we had some test formulas as well. So if I add this test formula in all of the worksheets on cell B1, on the first line, it's very easy for whoever is going to use the spreadsheet to immediately see, ha, huh, is everything okay? And what I can do then, if I have installed all of these tests on all of the worksheet, is add an all checks worksheet in which I'm going to combine all those tests for all of the worksheets in one overall testing worksheet. So I can use the indirect function here, you remember that from the previous lecture, where I can input a string, a text, and it will evaluate the result. So as a string, I use the name of the worksheet and B1, and then for all of the worksheets, I immediately get the results without any additional formulas. And then of course, there's only one thing I can still do, and I'm sure you have guessed what my next move will be, is add one more test formula on top of those tests. Again, I'm going to count the number of OKs and compare the number of OKs with the total number of lines of rows in my worksheet. And if they are the same, it's OK. And if not everything is an OK, there is an error in my spreadsheet. So I've added tests everywhere in my spreadsheet, I gather all of them together and in one value on one worksheet, one, the one check, the one test to rule them all, this test tells me is everything in my spreadsheet as I expect it to be. And in this way, if I send my spreadsheet to another department, another colleague, another company, maybe a customer, 
if they mess something up, either in the formulas or in the input values, and I get my spreadsheet back, I just simply have to go to my one track formula, and then I can see, is everything OK? Is everything still as I expect it to be, or is maybe something wrong? And that's a very good way to keep your spreadsheet safe.